Hello everyone, welcome to Next Door Cosplayer. This is your friendly neighborhood cosplayer Ishak, and today I will be making the Green Goblin helmet from Spider Man movies. So, Spider Man came out a month ago, and so I thought it would be very cool to make a Green Goblin helmet because I don't usually make villain stuff. But this is. Uh, Green Goblin is one of my favorite villains, so I actually wanted to make one. And today in the video I will be focusing on the build, priming and the coloring of the helmet so uh, let's stick around and let's see how it goes. First things first, I start off with the parts that I need to cut. Uh, the In this helmet in particular the grooves are really important because this is really bony and, and he, here are all the parts that I have already. I have cut and place them all together for my convenience the similar parts go together and they mirror each other so I apply a coat of contact cement right over here and also if you notice that this is a different type of foam that I used in the past and I actually found out that this kind of foam is a little denser so it's uh, easier to cut and it, it really sticks to, sticks to it itself really well so in the hill cuts, we actually, in the, actually not in the hill cuts, in the valley cuts, we actually need a lot of uh, reinforcement in there so that it stays like the valley it is. So I have, uh, while, while the glue on that one sets, I cut a lot of uh, angle pieces or conical pieces or pyramid pieces or whatever you, can, you want to call them from a scrap and as I have cut it, the pieces have all dried and now I connect them this part will go on the top of the head so I actually add, add I'm actually adding the valley pieces right here with super glue uh, super glue works faster right here instead of contact cement because this, this the pieces actually uh, don't stay like this unless I hold them and I can't really hold them for too long because you know things so I actually, oh, I actually wanted to use super glue right here, and using super glue actually went well because it dried well and it's not gonna get much stress right here. So as there is no stress right here, the super glue will not actually open up. I actually cut and paste a lot of pieces right here, spill, spilled a little also, so I actually removed them. Now see the dome shape is really prominent in this helmet. Now goes the another part, we add again contact cement and applying it really thoroughly and a thick coat of contact cement so it actually sticks to itself really good. Now for the another, for the part that will go right here. We actually glue everywhere we want. After the glue has set, I attach the pieces together as they go and they fit like puzzle pieces. Now always remember to use a sharp knife so that your angles are really clean. So and when you cut when your cuts are really clean the pieces will line up really nicely and they will join together just like butter. As you can see, as I have made the cuts really clean and used the grooves really well, the, uh, the pieces stand out really well. And this is the earpiece that I have. It had a lot of grooves in it and so I actually did it off camera because it took a lot of time. Here comes the mouthpiece and the nose and eyes. Now as you can see the mouth has a lot of bones in it. I mean, come on, it's William Dafoe, so that's that. 
and the nose and mouth will go together like this and the eyepieces will go into the forehead like that and so after the assembly the helmet looked a lot like this now it's time to add the teeth now the teeth goes in the bottom part and the top part but we have a little angle on the top part so I actually designed uh, two separate pieces of teeth this will go on the bottom side and this one will go on the top side of the head and you can see that it has a little angle to it because the mouth is a little angular on the top so the foam pieces I cut the top part went on two pieces and the bottom part was made in just one piece because it's just a flat piece of mouth over there so and I also added a little angle cut over there in the top part because the <coughs> the helmet the lips were a little angly so when the two angles will meet the teeth will stick out in the in front of the mouth in a 90 degree ish angle so that was the philosophy behind cutting it in an angle and now after the assembly the helmet looks like this I'm really happy with how it turned out and then I realized that the helmet actually looks like Willem Dafoe which is kind of funny because he was wearing the mask to hide his identity not show it now it's time for priming I mix equal parts of wood glue and water for priming and I also add a little uh, chalk powder in the mix so that it's a little hard when it dries I apply a th even coat of the primer all over the helmet and this yields a really good result I actually used five or six layers of this uh, over one day period I, I primed it whenever I wanted and as soon as it dried I primed it again and this went on for a long time until I ran out of my primer and so remember priming is really important for this kind of health this kind of foam because it really does not have a smooth side or a rough side like the previous foams I used this this helmet is all the same in every places so it needs a really thick coat of painting I mean primer so uh, make sure if you if you're using this kind of foam make sure to use five or six layers or even more if you want so after that the helmet looks like this and if you knock it it will sound like this it's hard to touch but will not break and it's just, but it's still it's a little flexible so uh, you can still wear it and now I have my painting rig over here in my balcony because it's really well open it's a well ventilated area and you know the painting that I'm gonna use is a lot toxic so I am taping off the teeth over here because I aim to paint them with brush not spray paint so uh, and I am taping it right now as you can see I taped up the goblin's mouth lol <laughs> So I am using masking tape over here, you can also use a painter step because they don't usually have a lot of glue in them so they're easy to remove. I'm using an auto green right here, number 39. So as I'm painting I'm, I'm, I'm actually making notes of where and how the paints uh, progress as I paint so that I can make the shades after a while with the purple paint. After the green paint was done, I left it to dry for a day so that the paint would set properly and after that I maxed off the area where I wanted the green to stay and said then I did a shading of violet as it is in the movie. So after the shading, the helmet looks like this and then I actually pulled off the tape and as you can see as it had cured for a day, the paint was stuck to the helmet really well and did not come off as I pulled out the tape 
and as I want, did not want actually a really good line over here but as you can see it still is a little prominent line over here so I actually painted it uh, I gave it a little brush of green later on uh, but I did forgot to film it so it's not right here but as you can see the green and the violet has a really distinctive hue right here and they can be easily separated and and it can be also it can also be seen in the movies so that's why I wanted to go with this look and now it's time to paint the teeth I used acrylic paints to paint the teeth and it was the silver ones I could have mixed a white and black and made a silver paint but actually I found their shiny silver outside uh, for in a separate container so I actually went with that and the painting was really easy and I actually wanted to speed up the drying process with a little bit of uh, hair dryer and as you can see I also painted the back side of the teeth because why not it would look the part and here I am speeding up the drying process with a little hair dryer and it goes a long way so after that it was time to make the eyes and the eyes were a little shiny and sunglassy so uh, but I didn't have a sunglass player palette this that big so I usually I used transparent films that I use in my doomslayer video right here with a little uh, mesh yellow cloth and I, I put two layers of cloth over there so that it really hides the eyes when you look through them but uh, after that it also looked a lot shiny after I added them now it's time for the second eye I do the same thing and I add the eyes with hot glue again now as you can see I did not glue the whole thing right here because I did not want it and and I actually glued it a lot loosely right here over there because after that after the square one were were pasted I actually cut them with the with the anti cutter right here and uh, made the eye shape because obviously you can't have that kind of big thing that big of an eye lens inside your eye so it wouldn't look nice and it wouldn't fit so out we went and then I also sanded it a little bit because they were really sharp so here goes the other eye yeah, you, I'm using super I'm using hot glue right here to glue it just like the other eye and after it's done we can see that it has fitted well it needed a little push but after that it fit really well now I cut off the excess and then we are done now this transparent film is really sharp when I cut it so I had to send it both sides really well so that it wouldn't harm me or anyone else who would wear this helmet later on So uh, this is the finished helmet right here, as you can see, it turned out just like in the movies, I did not add the neck lining right in the mouth because I didn't actually like it, uh, and the purple hue came out just the way I wanted it to, so that's a plus point. So uh, thank you everyone for watching, uh, staying with me all this time, and uh, I hope you like the video and you, I hope you like the build. Like and subscribe, tell a friend, show it to others and uh, thank you very much. I'll see you next time.